So welcome to Hello Have Look. My name is Harshad, and today I'll be teaching you how to make zen tangles and paradox pattern. So this is the zen ta uh, zen tangle, or you can say a paradox effect that I made. So first I'm going to teach you the basic of the zen tangles or a paradox. Okay. So let's get start with the basic. Okay, I'm just gonna make one more artboard. Okay, first I'll show you the basic. Forget the capital thing. Okay, so how are we gonna make? I'm gonna make first the basics of paradox effect. I'm gonna go with the paradox only. Okay, okay. Uh, make any shape. Put a color in your border. Don't fill the color inside it. And the first thing you're gonna do: select the object, go to effect, distort and transform, transform. Set the preview so you can see the changes over here. Make some few copies and decrease the scale horizontally and even the vertically. Try to make this and uh, make the scale uh, vertically, horizontally same. And to rotate this to get your effect. So here you go, got your effect. Make more few copies. Here you go. Is the your basic zen, uh, zen tangle pattern? You can do uh, this with other shape also. Like I'm going to make this with the polygon. But not with the perfect square, a perfect circle actually, not the square. You cannot make this kind of pattern with a perfect square. So I'm making with the polygon. Okay, select the shape, go to effect, distort and transform, and transform this pattern into a paradox. Set preview, make some few copies, uh, decrease the scale horizontally and the vertically. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the 82. Okay, uh, now rotate this. Okay, okay, 90 will be good. Yeah, here you got your effect. Zinc tangle. Make few more copies. Now you are done with your basic sessions in the paradox. So now I'm gonna uh, gonna tell you how to go one step ahead in the paradox pattern. I'm just gonna uh, gonna little go little advance. Yeah. So this is the advanced thing like how it's actually gonna look okay so let's start with the advanced section okay for that you have to follow some steps first uh, you're gonna have to make a perfect square so I'm just gonna go with the perfect square okay and divide the square in some parts like this or this this this, this. okay I'm gonna make this so like that So, so this is um, how I'm gonna divide this square in six parts. So, how I'm gonna do that? Simple. First, go to selection tool, select the whole object, go to shape builder tool, select the shape builder tool, and just click the sh uh, where the shape you want. This is the what's uh, the border. Uh, 
now remove outer, outer lines okay now your whole shapes are built make sure uh, there shouldn't be any color fill in it okay so let's start with the first box I'm just gonna go one by one first things first select that box go to effect go set and transform okay to make this advance you have to be, uh, be a little patient select preview so you can see the changes over here make some few copies uh, make some copies a few not much uh, decrease the scale vertically and horizontally and rotate this so here are what's happening over here you can see here lands are matching but over here lands are not matching because the gaps is actually little more so I'm gonna that's it decrease the horizontal scale I'm gonna work with the points if you wanna work with the points uh, press the control key and go page up and page down okay so here uh, lines are coming down and we have to shift little over here so in the right hand side so I'm just gonna do that in a horizontal way I'm just gonna go little right hand side and little upward okay and make some few copies for the rectangle effect don't worry about the copies till you get your desired effect okay now I'm gonna work with the second box the same thing I'm just gonna say that reduce the stroke effect for this uh, yeah and one more thing I forgot to show you okay go with the point five thing okay select the box go to effect be sort of transform and transform this select the preview make some few copies decrease the scale horizontally and try to match with the space you are seeing over here to wonder what it will be now rotate this okay we have to what's say go less with the what's this so now I rotate this in anti-clockwise so it's actually coming over here and I'm going to show you what I want to show you over here one more thing actually okay so here the gaps are more so I'm just gonna reduce that okay over here lands and lands are matching but I put this sorry I rotated this in anti-clockwise so the effect of that gonna come like this something like this if you don't want that because in the previous design it was something like this I rotated this in clockwise direction not in anti-clockwise here your lines are matching so it is gonna go a little up and increase the copies so this is the effect when you move on the clockwise direction yeah, so I'm done with the second box also now third the same thing just gonna decrease the stroke go to effect 
okay, so I can transform transform this pattern preview so you can see the changes over here and one more thing actually just go just go a little zoom out fine you can see the shape it's actually what is built over here like a pattern so this kind of shapes also have to make over here let me show you how it's done select the object go to effect distort and transform and transform this pattern make few copies and set preview so you can see the changes I'm gonna work with 8 copies decrease the horizontal scale even the vertical scale and total this see if I rotate this in anti-clockwise direction it's gonna give me something this effect but I don't know that I want this effect you can also work with that effect also your wish you can play with that okay but right now I'm gonna work with this um, and I have to also adjust the gap between those things just gonna go a little horizontal way yeah here the lines are matching even the gaps are matching I'm just gonna go little right hand side horizontally and one more thing uh, I'm just gonna make effect of that now, detailed yes and one more thing it, there is an option over here scale stroke in effect if you uh, remove the scale stroke effect it's gonna look like this why well because when you put the scale stroke effect it's gonna reduce the stroke effect so you can see the if uh, the paradox effect is coming over here so if you don't want that you can play with this also it's also kind of like but I like this one so I'm gonna work with the skill stroke and uh, defects yeah, you can also play with something like this also see how it's working it's kind of playful thing Because I'm just gonna do with in the middle, the center point. You can go say that just the points. You can go to the right hand side in the corner, wherever you like, wherever you want to make this kind of pattern. So I'm gonna work with this. I work with this, and I'm gonna work with this also. It's kind of what's say It's like you're playing with it, but it's actually what's say It's blocking the way over here. It's actually making this over right but it's actually blocking over here so I'm just gonna rotate this in a clockwise direction so you can see it's actually merging the pattern yeah so I'm done with my third box also now I'm gonna work with my fourth box the same thing I'm gonna uh, reduce the stroke effect go to effect do certain transform and I'm gonna transform this pattern uh, box into a paradox pattern set preview make few copies make uh, horizontal lines even a vertical lines uh, why what's say thing decreasing the stroke try to match with the gaps now rotate the angle and uh, it's anti-clockwise so you can get the defect ok now I'm gonna increase uh, the scale of horizontally uh, increase the horizontal scale to reduce the gap okay. the lines are matching over here gonna make few copies of that 
doesn't matter how many coffees you make until you get your desired effect. Now I'm also done with my fourth box. Now I'm gonna do that same thing with my fifth box. We can see how the pattern is actually working over here. Okay, let's go with the fifth box. Same thing, go to effect. Uh, first I'm gonna what's say decrease the stroke. I'm gonna go to the effect, the sort and transform and transform this box into the paradox pattern set reveal. So you can see the changes over here. And I'm just gonna go a little fast because so we already done the fourth box. I'm gonna what's say going with the fifth one. Make few copies, decrease the scale horizontally in the vertically also and now rotate this in the anti lock direction so you can uh, so I can get the effect here the gaps are not matching in the vertical direction scale uh, sorry in the horizontal scale horizontal in the vertical horizontal line so I'm just gonna increase the scale to decrease the gaps okay here the lines are matching here the somewhere somehow what's it the Gaps are not matching because uh, the box is little huge and the uh, down one box is actually a uh, little small of the rectangle. It's kind of a boxy thing, it's kind of a rectangle boxy thing. So I'm just gonna make few copies and here yeah, I'm done with my fifth box also. And yeah, you're gonna ask me what is the reflect X and Y gonna do? Hmm? This is what this is gonna do. Play with it. It's just as simple as that. It's like cooking. We just what say they're trying the many flavors. Here's the here is your what's it? All the weapons. And here is your board. Here's the kitchen. Okay, I'm just gonna make this with our last box. I'm gonna decrease the strokes. It's like I'm cooking a design. I'm gonna select the box, go to effect, desert and transform, and transform this pattern. Set preview so we can see changes over here. Make few copies. Uh, decrease the horizontal scale, even the vertical scale. Now rotate this. I'm gonna work with the points. To do that, just press the control button and adjust as like what you want I'm just gonna what's a uh, manage the distance over here okay the lines are perfect but it's actually going this way so I'm just gonna rotate this in the clockwise direction increase the gaps Gonna rotate more. Decrease the gaps vertically, even horizontally. Yeah. Just gonna go little right hand side horizontally. Just gonna fill that space. By just in the scale thing, just gonna make more copies. Oh, so now you're done with your advanced session in Paradox. Congratulations! I hope you like this, and to be with me till the end, I'm just gonna give you one more bonus. Select this object. Go to object, expand appearance. Okay, now the whole thing is expand, so you can 
touch and adjust each and every line so you can color this also like when you select any particular line it's gonna select the whole box so you can color that box also uh, just what's it uh, you can fill the color in the strokes the colors you like whatever colors you like just fill the color it's gonna give you kind of effect I hope you are liking this and one more thing I just gonna I just want to show you my other things like what I do okay you can even follow me on hello have a double edge doodle do where I make what's it doodle patterns I make a lot of doodle patterns and I'm also started putting this in the uh, the in my Instagram account you can comment down and you can tell me like what you want to learn to this how you how you can make this kind of pattern illustrator it's it will be fun for me so I don't have to what say the uh, do the research about what I should put next you can also follow me on my vector page double H vector masala yes I'm Indian and uh, here's my patterns the Navajo tribes my some some of my assignments and this one I taught you just now the paradox thing you can also the play with this also okay so I'm done with today hope you like it yeah how to make sun tangles and products pattern the basic one and the advanced session hope you like this make sure to like comment and smash that bell icon thank you